one different player. Our second winner semis match this tournament. We'll see how it goes. And Cody immediately just coming up. No fear, and, and that might be what you need. You know, the confidence to actually get your execution, to get your hits in. As you're, if you're playing someone as good as Solarx. Cody, of course, a beast in his own right. Getting plenty of people to get here, as we saw with, I believe it was PK Chris. And this looks very different from what we're used to seeing with Ling. You know, of course, he's being generally a defensive character, but the play style is very so much. And sometimes that can work in, you know, be in the way from what you're used to playing or your general game plan. So we'll see how Cody tries to switch it up. Goes for some interesting up airs as he goes to the chat afterwards. Not something we really saw versus Wang. But nonetheless, he's still got a good lead. Well, not a good lead, but a, a situation where he could. Nice Tomahawk, and he has, yep, Smash, not gonna do it just yet, whoa. But yeah, that Smash starts getting camped out. Up the also gonna call from the immediate, and another up there. He's, he's conditioned for the mix right here. There's a turnip, gonna put Cody, oh. <laughs> Cody getting reversed immediately as that happens. Both of these players with a real comfy on ledge. Solar's trying to finish this sometime soon. And at that point, it's hook line sinker, right? But you might have been playing too many games. He almost, get, he almost gets killed for that. And he's still almost getting killed for that. Yep. Yeah, maybe you, you thought you had more time. But either way, look at the difference between the way that Cody's playing versus, uh, and Solar's playing versus Cody versus the other way around. Extremely different, interesting to kind of notice. Cody on a bit of a back foot, you know, this, this is the piece who plays on the other side of the spectrum, especially like, you know, looking for things with these up airs more. And, oh, trying to call the air dodge, nothing happening, but with Dare immediately getting called out and just getting a convert into a beautiful combo. Cody really making his presence known as Solar struggles to get out the corner even with the speed. Even goes for a bomber. Not gonna work well, twice and oh my gosh, this is this is looking super scary for anyone here. But that up throw. He knows what he's doing. He knows. And either way, you know, he's got this lead. He's he's pressuring the shield. It's not really gonna matter if you got it or don't. The down throw doesn't work enough, but he still gets something out of it either way. 54% is a solid lead if I were to call anything else. And even manages to land, he's still got this stock. <laughs> Solarch trying to finish it up as soon as he can, but struggling to. The little backwards facing fair gonna get Cody in the corner, but the slow hit of the back air is not really working now, at least in that scenario. And a well-timed roll is going to buy Cody the stage he needs to change the situation. It's a little land, it's the grab. Cody essentially almost, you know, did lap. I uh, did, uh, did lap solo at this point, but you can't call him out. You saw what happened with Ling, right? And going off stage at the up there. Definitely a mix up, but either way, you're putting yourself in a ledge trap, and that caught it right there. It's gonna be Cody again in game one at this Encore Monthly winner semi situation. Looking completely different from what we saw earlier. Now, kind of seeing where they're gonna go, Battlefield. Uh, is being hovered over right now, but you know they're thinking. Some hesitance going through, and it looks like, okay. So that's where we're going, hopefully I'll saw it. Of course, no counter picks being used in terms of characters. They're locked straight in, straight up. 
We'll see how this goes. Small battlefield. No need for the top plot. As we get into it, Solar is the one with a little bit of an aggressive start to get these fares. But also does that one fair to bring it back. They're going to be too slow in that scenario. And they're just trading a bit back and forth. As Maddie previously mentioned, oh! Sora is typically someone who will nickel and dime you. But I mean, sometimes, you know, versus these combo characters, it can be kind of a death charge. Oh my gosh. This jump is incredibly scary in that scenario. That bear catches most of the options that you're able to have. And Cody looking for that dare. Finally shows some sign of aggression here. Cody's going to be able to scout at the right time. He has an opportunity. The drops and the swords gets a reversal. These two players are looking just to finish things. They don't really care about playing the neutral that much as we're seeing. And that'll lead to Cody getting the first stock of this game too. Now as we're getting into this, of course we're going to see the turn of play. Looking for center and the difference that we're seeing is the movement on the ground from Cody. Using these short fair, any short floats, you know, just to trip up, maybe get some reaction. And a backslash setup, not gonna work out, but he, he's not gonna get punished for it, really. And it's interesting to see Solar's play for these up airs. And he's got a lot of room to play with. And he's, oh, I say that, of course. And, 176 is, is a lot, but either way, it's Shulk. You can play far away, you can have a shield. Everything helps. Cody. Yeah. Manages to get the first stock with only 57. I mean, that's a lead, but nothing a Peach combo can't pull you back into. Ooh. At this point, the discipline from Cody there was immaculate. I don't care what anyone says. That was pretty crazy. Upper finally hitting on. Solar's end. But not, not much coming out of it. And he's still holding on to his lead. He doesn't need much. Has a peach at ledge. Looking for something but couldn't find it. Just end up settling for this jump bar. And the delay on that up to finish me. That was, that was pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. The up tilt there, understanding that a potential shield art is happening, and Cody finally getting an up air string that he typically goes for. Wave of these, oh my god. <laughs> so is actually going crazy. The checks that he's getting. Cody's trying to get something going too. But he's still on his last stock down. Now actually going to come in right on time. As Cody is looking. Looking like he might be losing this. A very big difference from this game one. No joke. Shield are gonna come in clutch yet again, you already know. But not for too long. That fair is getting pointed out and, and oof. Oh my gosh. This, this is a situation that Cody needed. Gets a couple up airs, of course. The shield gonna pull through and stop any more shenanigans. Now, I wouldn't call this out of any, you know, any player's ballpark here. Even though you miss the out there, he's still able to capitalize. No jump on the Shulk, of course. Cody trying to snipe that out, but it's not really looking for him. At this point, you got Shulk on the ledge. Smash, Art, pulling through. Finds the right opportunity. Hesitating a bit, that grab ain't gonna reach us yet. And waited just enough, and this is the discipline I was talking about earlier. If you are gonna play as someone who scraps, you gotta know what you're looking for, too. And, oh my, up air not gonna work because of speed's nature. And this is, ooh, anyone's game. And that looked like that almost didn't kill too. That's the crazy part. My God. That was a little scary. And that, that definitely was scary for Solar. I, I don't think, that was not looking free in the least. I mean, he had a good lead for a sizable part of it. Cody really started to turn up. And Battlefield left open again. This is where it's Cody, of course. One game one. But you can't say that's going to continue to happen. Now, 
we are going right into this game three. Back with the game one started, which is essentially now best of three, but this time, turnips falling through. But in, <laughs> in Solar's hands, he's the one who gets the hit. And this is looking, it's looking, you know, essentially nothing too crazy. 60% happening, you know, you know Solarch, you know, is gonna be the one to just kind of look for your straight. It's not trying to get anything too, too crazy. But Cody's the one with the general, you know, aggression, the general pressure. And we'll see how he's able to do. I think this, the biggest thing here, right, is that from this lead, we gain a new commentator. Hello? Who's pulling up? What's good? Oh, looks like. Wait, am I good or not? Okay. Well, uh, I'll be back later, maybe. Yeah. yeah, either way, as we're getting into this, gone as soon as they came. But Solar's doing a great job of keeping Cody at the ledge and really just trying to finish him off here. But a reversal situation is looking up, and Solar's is actually the one to swing, missing on the uppy, but the ambiguity of that uppy manages to give him another lease on life on the stock. Cody rushing enough, rushing together just in time. <laughs> what? Footstool float into the nair? I have never seen that. That was clean. This character already has the frame data, but that was clean. Damn, Cody. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I've seen a lot of Peach. I just haven't seen that. And, and immediately after that, 92%. You can tell he's feeling himself at this point. And this is definitely a stage he wants to be. If I'm Cody, I wouldn't let. I know, if I'm Solis, I wouldn't let Cody go here. That's all. I'm, that's all I'm thinking to myself. Solarts finding that there, getting the kill. I mean, that's a. A real late hit, definitely didn't expect it. But either way, either way. And now we're seeing him pull up, does it again. <laughs> he, he's got this down, this is crazy. This is crazy. We have an entire stock lead here, and it's at zero too. Oh, looking for the dares of course. You know it's what beat shield out, and no shield is gone. I mean, still managed to only take 34 instead of whatever, but. Cody's just currently driving. He ain't, he ain't slowing down anytime soon. Solar's trying to stop it with those constant errors, but losing the speed art, he's got to find a different way to deal with this. Gets put in a position where he goes for shield, and it's, it's not even lasting. That was incredible. I have no other, I don't really think I need to say anything else. We, we just saw that game three, right? That was crazy. That was, that was insane. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> don't bring it to the battlefield. I promise you it'll be better. Hollow Bastion, looking like the pick. I think this is fine. The one platform in the middle maybe plays more into um, in the Soul Arts favor than it will into Cody. But we'll see. Nothing's guaranteed, and Cody was cooking the last game. Damn. And of course, he's starting this next one with <laughs> just the same. Soul Arts actually ready for it, and these two are going back and forth. No one is looking to kind of reset to neutral, or if anyone, it could be Solarch, but realistically, nah, he's, he's also doing some swinging. But once we're getting it, you know, he's trying to play under that platform. However, the first Asha coming out of Cody, and he does it again with that Peach Bomber. He's buying him a lot of mileage. But the jump here, you know it's coming through, and he catches the hype? And misses the execution at the very end. But 141, you better run, I'm, that's all I'm saying. I, I feel like at this point, Cody looks like he's really cleaning this up. The sec, as, as long as he gets this stock, you know, yeah, I, 
I really can't see Cody, Cody losing it. He turned on a switch, and it's been immaculate gameplay since that point. The harassment at this, from the platform, gonna get countered. And Source now has an opportunity. Yep. Smash out that ledge. Able to slow down Cody in his tracks as the momentum is going forward. Maybe it's just what he needed. But see, the thing is, I the confidence, there is no hesitation I'm seeing from Cody. He is swinging for the fences. He's taking these trades. He knows when to take the trades, too. It's not just a wild one, either. But Solar managed to get his own corner pressure situation going and getting some percent on off of it, but he's got to be careful. He cannot afford to let this reversal happen. This Cody is really scouting this situation now. He's looking to get cooked. He's looking to finish. Has that situation in the center, allows them to dance around with the plat, but that Nair out of speed, not gonna be fast enough. And Cody's almost able to take it there, and with the bear on the switch up. Shield Art's gonna be pulling through. Cody understands that he's, he's leasing this life longer than, than he expected. Yeah, I, <laughs> this, this is incredible. I, I've seen a lot of Peach players but the confidence that this man is playing in the Shulk matchup, mind you, is incredible to watch. So that's, of course, definitely not out of it. 89% is sizable. Tamak, however, not gonna be in his favor, and he's gonna get hit with an up air at the very least in his shield art. We're not gonna be seeing it for a little bit. Hopefully he doesn't need it. I haven't really been able to see Solar get a situation where he's calling out some of these aggressive situations. I think that might be what is needed, but there's always a lot needed in this set. There's, there's more than one for why it goes wrong. And the first time we're seeing a get-up attack, however, not working out. As, as Solar just gets lapped, and Cody's just... <laughs> I've never seen someone so fearless in my life. And he managed to get hit there the second he starts as a tape, but without that percentage, I don't really think he has too much to worry about. Gets the upper, goes to that signature move that, that is him. And at this point, we're seeing Cody try to dance around these kill moves. He understands even a trade is going to get him off the stage. Looks for that footstool, but doesn't manage to get it there as he parried the aerial. However, good awareness, and at this point, you know, Solar swinging a lot, got some good discipline in there, understanding that the, oh, he's a shield pokeable. Yeah, the second that happened, he rolled, being a little bit worried about it, and still gets hit by this dare. Oh my gosh, All right. <laughs> not just yet, the shield art gonna save him, but for how long? 204, you got nothing to give. Oh, but no flow? Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's it. Honestly, honestly, no float. That was looking like it could have been. That's all I'm saying. Uh, so that's going to be Cody taking that with some pretty good confidence. I'll be right back. I just got to do something right quick. <laughs> 